What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna review a lot of stuff. Holy fuck. I have a lot of lip products. Like a lot. A lot of lip products. And I'm gonna tell you which ones are the best. And these are all affordable. So, none of that designer shit. Most of these you can find in Ulta, Target, any drugstore. I don't know about Sephora. I don't think so. Sephora is a little out of my brain's range, if I do say so myself. We have multiple categories. We have lip oils. We have lipstick. We have, what is it? Like lip balm, tinted lip balm, lip stains. Most of these are lip glosses or glossies, glossy stuff. Yeah, they're more shiny. I'm not really a matte lip person, so if this doesn't apply to you, this don't apply to you, and that's okay. The way I'm ranking or like saying if they're good or bad is if they have pigment, how long they stay, and stickiness. I don't like sticky. Sticky's gross. It just feels like, does that make sense? Okay, I've separate or categorized all my stuff. So we're gonna start off with e.l.f. products. e.l.f. is one of my favorite beauty brands ever from price point and to quality. So I have two of the Glow Reviver lip oils and I'd say I like them. I will try on both, don't you worry. This one is in the shade, I can't read, Jam Session. And I think the color is kind of cute. It's not too pigmented because my lips kind of look the same. But without, like you can kind of tell, don't know if you can, but it's really hydrating on the lips and no sticky feeling at all. And I feel like it lasts a pretty long time without like eating. Is that? Yeah. Like when you do eat, it will come off very, very quickly. So it's not the best to have it right before you eat or you kind of have to reapply it a, li a lot. But they're a pretty solid lip oil. Feels more like a gloss than an oil, which is okay in my opinion. Um, and then, and then this one is in the shade Coral Fixation, which was my first one I ever had. There really isn't a lot of pigment. So they're mostly my go-tos when I want a more casual makeup look or like a no makeup makeup look. Not really like glam or partying. Not my cup of tea for those, but very hydrating lip oil. I give the e.l.f. oils a solid 8 out of 10. They're great. Pigment's not too good though, but everything else about it, love. My lips burn so much. I just had chili oil dumplings <laughs> and they burn. Next set of lip products from e.l.f. is their lip stains. I only have e.l.f. lip stains, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, but some shades are better than others. For instance, the brown shade called Cinnamon Dreams, it kind of looks like poop, at least on me. So I don't know, but I can, I can demonstrate, don't you worry. It feels like I have shit on my lips. So definitely don't do this one without, or just by itself. Like it, it I just don't like it. It stains nicely, kind of. But it's not, no, no. Like, I feel like I just had a fuck, sorry, I was my stomach. I just had like a fucking chocolate cake. Like I'm the dude from Matilda. Like, it's just, I don't know, I don't, I don't appreciate that it looks like Dookie. And I'm not waiting long enough for it to stain for the sake of the video. But it does stain more um, 
nude-ish, nude-ish, like light brown. So if you have darker lips, I don't think it'll do anything for you. But if you have lighter lips, it could. I'm more in between and it barely makes a difference, so it's not that great. But my fave is Spicy Sienna, which is the red one. This one is nice, very, very nice. I like to put the stain before glosses to make sure it like stays throughout the whole night, at least with a color. Cause sometimes I'm parting a little too hard and I don't know that my lip stuff are not on. But this is Spicy Sienna. She's cute. A nice little tint of red-ish pink. She's my fave. I like this one way, way than the other one and I haven't tried the other stains because I don't really want the colors I know there's like a purple one and I'm not one for purple lips I'm more of a red and nude or like dark red lip stains I give the red one an 8 out of 10 and the brown one uh, 4 or 5 out of 10 they do last a oh, while so that's a good thing because well it is a lip stain and the more you put on and the longer you leave it on it uh, it makes a much more of a difference but i need to try other lip stains so let me know if you have lip stain recommendations last elf lip product it's not really my fave at all i haven't worn it in such a long time and it's the lip shines with the little hearts in the middle it's cute it's really cute but i just I don't know something about it is off to me I don't know if it's the lip color or what but I don't know it's hydrating it really is but I'd rather just go with aquaphor if the, that was like my options like I'd, I would really much rather have aquaphor than this I feel like it doesn't last long it's not I don't know it's just some I'd give it a 4 out of 10. It's really cute. Packaging, the little heart, cute. May, may be biased because I hate the color, but wouldn't. I would recommend not. Next brand, oh my god. Next brand of categories is NYX. I love NYX. Honestly, up there with e.l.f. And they do often compete with each other. But sometimes their products are a little better. What? Who said that? I have so many of these, the fat drip, lip drip oils. I have more. Don't know where all of them are. I had like a red one. I'm pretty sure I had like a dark red one. I don't remember. But who knows where they are. These are my favorite. Favorite. Like I cannot describe to you. How much I love them. Like, I almost had every single shade because I love them that much. My favorite one recently is, I think it's called Status Update. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. She is what made me love brown lips. She's gorgeous. She's pigmented, like, glossy. She stays a while. My favorite. Nine out of ten. 9 out of fucking 10. The only thing I kind of hate is the applicator. It's a little interesting. I would rather have like a squeeze than this. Because I feel like I have to do multiple like applications. But the product itself is great. And then I can show you the other ones. I just, my lips feel so nice with these. And I feel like such a baddie. Like it just, it feels like a baddie. This is probably this ugly angle of me taking this shit off. Then there's Supermodel, which is like a glittery pink. She's cute too. I will say though, the ones that have glitter in it is not as pigmented as the ones without. But there is still like a tint. You can see it. The red one is much better. I don't, I really don't know where that one is. I think that one's called New Speed. The red one I'm talking about. But beautiful. I will say though, the clear one I don't uh, ever use it. I think she is very similar to if I had just put on the e.l.f. lip oils. 
I don't know why I got the clear one. But, I mean, if you just want clear, shiny lips, that works too. And then I have Follow Back, which is the brown shimmer. Um, and like this one, it's more just like a tint than pigment. Like, super pigmented. But she's cute too. But I love these to death. To death. Like, if I can have only one lip product forever, it'd be that one. And I don't know how different it is to the lips, the lip oil sticks that they just released not too long ago. So I don't know if that's better. They are more expensive, which I don't really understand why. It's the same product, just in different packaging. But teach their own. The next NYX or yeah, products that I have are these juice glosses. I don't like them at all. They, I think, are too thin. Like, I feel like it immediately will disappear from my lips. Wow, it smells like coconut. I never noticed that. Oh, because it's called coconut. That's... Duh. But I just, I don't. And they really don't last a long time because they are thin. The red one is better, or the pink one, called Strawberry Flex. A lot better. But I tend to pair it with what I'm already wearing, like lipsticks, that I don't want to use the lip oils for. Like it only has a tint because I dip it in lipstick. But it's so thin. I, I've i seen like reviews on TikTok where it's better than the lip oils and I don't understand how. Like I don't, I don't get it. But it is hydrating, just I like gloss. A thicker gloss and this is not it for me so i'd say a good seven out of ten six out of ten six out of ten last things from nyx are the butter glosses they are quite nice i will say my favorite is cranberry pie they feel more like a lipstick than a lip gloss i'm gonna do one in one because i'm tired of wiping multiple times my lips hurt well i just mix the two together so that's stupid of me but they are pretty pigmented they're like i said they're more of a lipstick in my opinion because they the formula just feels more cream than gloss if that makes sense it's really pretty though i love them they are they last quite quite some time i love to party i go to ucsb we we party hard and these i will say do stay. I still wouldn't wear them by itself. I do wish it was a little more glossy because it is a gloss, but pretty solid choices, honestly. And I'd give it a seven out of 10. Next is lipsticks. I want to review lipsticks. And I have two from Revlon and one from Milani. The Milani one is my favorite one. And the Revlon ones, they But the Revlon is this matte, I think it's matte, yeah. Matte red, it's so iconic. Iconic. You want that bold red lip? Get, get this lipstick. I don't even know, oh, what is it called? Color Statement Lipstick in the shade 67, matte confident. So good, oh my God. I love a bold lip and this is it and this is it like you can't tell me I look good I don't look good maybe you can but if you just look at my lips it's an iconic color 9 out of 10 I have a red one from Revlon and I don't know it doesn't give me the same boldness well, I can't quite pin it. Oh my god, it's really like stained my lips. Oh my god. It's the cream. Oh my goodness. The cream lipstick, so maybe that's why I don't like it too much. And it's called Super Red. But I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm a matte lipstick person. Maybe that's why I hate it. Well, I don't hate it, but it's not my fave. Wow, it really just stains your lips. My lips were not that red before. And lastly, the Blushing Mauve. No. No. 
I give them together 6 out of 10. They're not the worst, but they're not the best. I'd say Milani knows where it's at. Though there is something from Milani that I don't like too much and it's their plumping gloss. Lip, yeah. Lip plumper. It gives me the stinging effect, but I don't think it actually does anything. Like we're gonna try. Plus this, this gloss just looks weird. So while I let this go, this one's sticky. Yeah, I don't know if you could see that. Like that's gross. And it's not really stinging. It's been five minutes and still nothing. My lips look the same. They look the same. So, I don't like it. Hey, we're almost done guys, we're almost done. Next, Summer Fridays lip balm. Butter, lip butter balm. I like this stuff. I think it's so cute. It's nice and pigmented. No, low effort. Like you don't have to do much. She's cute. I don't know about the other shades, so don't don't take this with a grain of salt. But eight out of ten. That's all I gotta say. Next one, REM lip oil. I don't like it. I don't like it. Initially, I said I liked it because. I love Ariana Grande, but this just, no. It's pretty when you first put it on. Don't not get me wrong. But it doesn't do anything after that. Like it makes my lips feel drier. I, the cooling wand inside doesn't really do much. It goes away really easy. I even got the Mac Miller one, Pick and Petals. And in, in hindsight, it like seems great, but it's not. It's not. So use other REM beauty stuff because not that one. And it literally wipes off like nothing. I should tell you something. Then I have this Clinique Black Honey. It's a mini and it's Kate Spade edition. I think this was completely overrated, but it is a nice, oh my God. A nice, oh my God, my throat. Nice color. Nice color, but it was way too overhyped. It's really cute, but it needs gloss, so not by itself. But it's a solid color, just not worth the big price range it's on. Like, you can get so many other dupes from that. I got that from a free sample, so that's why I have it, but no. Last but not least is a rare beauty item. Now, right now, I'm mad at Selena Gomez. So this is the only lip I have. And I will say I do like it. <sighs> oh, I just tasted some, that's not good. I think it's cute. I like how it does leave a stain. I do have to reapply it all the time. I'm wearing, I have the shade Wonder. My lips are fucking stained to shit now. Like all these damn products. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, this is just my opinion. If something works for you, it works for you. Like, don't, don't stop using something because of it. Unless they're a bad place, then stop using it. Or use it up before you, and don't buy more stuff. But this was just my opinions. My babies, my babies. That's the only thing I will say you should try is the NYX Lip Fat Drip Oils. Love them, love them, it was fucking fly. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. See you next week.